U.S. temperatures are to plunge to a record low of minus 78 degrees Celsius. That's 108.4 degrees Fahrenheit minus. This is a, an epic generational cold snap that is coming. And I have the map for you from NOAA. Mount Washington, the northeast highest mountain, is famous for its extreme weather conditions. Continental U.S. saw temperatures plunge to a record low Friday, with forecasters calling it an epic generational Arctic cold snap. Arctic air drove the wind chill on the summit of Mount Washington, New Hampshire, down to a record-setting low of 78 minus, which is 108 degrees Fahrenheit below. U.S. National Weather Service reports that smashed a previous record where of minus 47 Celsius, the Weather Channel said. Topping it out at 6,288 feet above sea level, Mount Washington, New Hampshire is the highest peak in the northeastern United States and is known for having some of the most extreme weather conditions on the planet. I didn't even know that. But the Arctic air reached the region just as a rapid cyclogenesis developed over Canada's rugged Atlantic coast, churning up powerful winds. Meteorologist Donald Dumont and the National Weather Service of in Gray, Maine, said Friday explaining the temperature plunge. The cyclogenesis refers to an intensification of a cyclone or low-pressure storm system. The Mount Washington Observatory at the peak of Northeast Highest Mountain, famous for its extreme weather conditions, also recorded an actual temperature of minus 44 degrees Celsius, trying tying at an observatory record set in 1934, and a wind gust of 127 miles per hour. That's 204 kilometers per hour. Across the rest of the region, wind chills, the combined effect of wind and cold air on exposed skin, dropped to as low as minus 45 degrees, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So the uh, minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the National Weather Service reports. Temperatures got so low that authorities in Massachusetts took to the unusual step of keeping the South Station Transit Hub open overnight, so homeless people had a safe place to sleep. Several cities in the Northeast set to or tied record low temperatures for the date, while the high winds brought down a tree branch on a car in western Massachusetts. Now, a, the 23-year-old dr driver taken to hospital. And um, one uh, person said, I can't remember it being this cold, not since 2015. This is what Jin Ko said, 36 years old, wrapped up in three shirts and a down jacket, as well as a hat and a hood as he walked his Boston Terrier B in Boston Saturday morning. Even B, the dog, was wrapped in a doggy coat, shivered. I would go out if I I would not go out if I didn't have to, he said. Boston's Pine Street Inn, the largest provider of homeless services in New England, ramped up outreach to those on the streets, doubling the number of vehicles that could transport people to shelters and opening their lobby to provide extra space. On a night like last night, the biggest concern is who pe the people that have compromised judgment. President and CEO Lindia Downey said Saturday of people who have substance use or disorder or mental illness. And on cold nights, she said, they are not thinking at 100% of their capacity. Those are the people we are most worried about. The emergency room, Massachusetts General Hospital, treated several people for hypothermia overnight, and a couple were admitted for frostbite. The reason that people unfortunately end up with severe frostbite in most cases just because they don't have anywhere warm and safe to go, the doctor, Dr. Ali Raja, deputy chair of the emergency department, said. In New York's Adirondack Mountains, Old Forge recorded a temperature nearly Saturday of minus 36 degrees uh, or minus 38 degrees Celsius. The temperature plunged the native negative teens in dozens of other cities and towns. Mackenzie Glasser, owner of Aussie's Coffee Bar in Old Forge, said frigid temperatures are just part of living in the Adirondacks. He said, I even customers I had customers for the first hour that I was open and was not expecting at 7 a.m., so I don't think it's keeping too many people away, she said. The good news is that the cold air 
is expected to move out of much of the region by Sunday when temperatures could rise to the 40s. So this is by Adam Chapman on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. My Patreon accounts, the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box 